Hi students, welcome to today's class. So today also I am going to explain a very very important problems, important models uh, from the chapter indefinite integration. Okay. So let us see the first problem. The first problem is 1 by x integral of 1 by x to the power of 4 plus 1 dx. So the problem is appears to be a very simple, the integrand here 1 by uh, x to the power of plus 1. So integrand is a very very simple expression but the answer is to be uh, very very a big expression we are going to get then how to proceed this type of problems okay so let us see the solution so here integral so what i am going to do is divide the numerator and denominator with the x square so here in the indefinite integration problems there won't be any specific method to solve any problem so depending upon the integrand we will proceed okay so now i am proceeding this uh, problem like dividing both numerator and denominator with the x square then this will become 1 by x square by x square plus 1 by x square dx okay now so i am dividing the numerator denominator with x square by x square by x square by x square now in the numerator i will separate a 1 by x square term like this so can I write it as a 1 plus 1 by x square. So minus of 1 minus 1 by x square. Can I write it as this dx. Can I write it as, I see here, minus plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled. Minus into minus plus 1 by x square, 1 by x square, 2 by x square. But here only 1 by x square is there. That's why 1 by 2 I will write down. Okay, now, now separate these two terms. So, this is 1 plus 1 by x square by x square plus 1 by x square minus. So, this is equal to 1 minus 1 by x square by x square plus 1 by x square dx. I separated. Now, coming to whenever you got this type of problem. So, you have to think over like this. Can I write down the denominator? And I write down the denominator, sorry, numerator as a derivative of denominator like that. For example, see here. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 by x square. Can I write it as x minus 1 by x here? So, if I write here, what is the derivative of x? 1, 1 by x square minus 1 by x square. So, this is equal to whole square. So, here how much here? A square plus b square minus 2ab that means minus 2 will get that you have to write down plus 2 okay now so that x minus 1 by x derivative is 1 plus 1 by x square so there also here 1 minus 1 by x square by here i wrote down x plus 1 by x so here minus 2 you have to write down whole square why because here x square x square plus b square that is 1 by x square plus 2ab, 2 into x into 1 by x, x, x cancel plus 2, plus 2 minus 2 will get cancelled. Why I wrote like this here? So, here what is the derivative of x plus 1 by x? x derivative is 1, 1 by x derivative is minus 1 by x square. Okay, now, so this is equal to 1 by 2 into, so here if you put u is equal to or anything, substitution, if you put x minus 1 by x, so I will substitute here, uh, u is equal to x minus 1 by x, in this v is equal to x plus 1 by x that means both the problems i am doing simultaneously so now your problem will become integral of uh, integral of how much here of course here 1 by 2 is there this is 1 by so this is a u square so u square plus root 2 whole square minus minus so here what you will get here so that is equal to 1 by here x plus 1 by x means v square, v square minus root 2 whole square. So, if you write down, you can write down separately, otherwise if you want, you can write down dx, sorry, this is a du and it is dv, okay now. So, both we got a separate problems, then directly you can write down. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 into, of course, this whole thing into. So, this is a direct integration formula, integral of 1 by x square plus a square. Integral of 1 by x square plus a square is equal to how much? 1 by a tan inverse of x by a. That is 1 by a. a means root 2 tan inverse of x by a. x by root 2. 
understand minus this is 1 by x square minus a square integral of 1 by x square minus a square means equal to how much 1 by 2a that means 2 root 2 log of x minus a by x plus a that is v minus root 2 by v plus root 2 plus c okay so if you substitute here u value is x plus uh, u value is x minus 1 by x and uh, v value is x plus 1 by x if you simplify the answer v you will get 1 by 2 root 2 tan inverse of u value is x minus 1 by x upon root 2 minus 1 by 2 root 2 log of what is your v value so v value is nothing but x plus 1 by x minus root 2 by x plus 1 by x plus root 2 plus c so almost that is a uh, final answer okay you can simplify that problem the thing is the thing is from here every anybody can do from here anybody can uh, uh, catch the problem the first thing is whatever may be the problem the first step what you are going to write is very very important so here the first step is this so your total solution depends upon the first step that you are going to write understand this here so what is the first step that you are going to write here dividing the numerator and denominator with x square that is the idea that you have to get sir how we will get sir that type of idea here the first step that what you have to uh, came into your mind is dividing the numerator and denominator with the x square okay now sir how you will get that idea sir by uh, the that is idea by dividing with the x square again we wrote like this separating like that this all will come using practice 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 that's all so if you do the problem number of times number different different types of problems the your mind automatically your consciousness will automatically suggest that to do the problem like this and you separate and after that you will get the solution okay now right i hope that you understand this solution let us go for next problem welcome to second problem see the second problem here evaluate integral of log e to the base e x into log e to the base e square x into log e to the base e cube x divided by x dx this is one of the uh, different uh, variety problem that how to do remember always whenever log the log is there base e if it is base e is there that will be very nice and preferable uh, expression but here you see here reverse is there log e to the base e x is there if it is log e x to the base e the problem will be very nice here also log e to the base e square base e square x is there if it is in the reverse order that is log e square x to the base e the problem will be very nice no first you do that first you do that so uh, make the base as e here it is possible to write why because all are into only okay now if it is plus or minus it is somewhat uh, difficult to convert it okay right now first you do that so this is equal to integral so this is a integral of 1 upon x I wrote here x otherwise I can write there here so this is equal to log e x to the base e into log e square x to the base e log e cube x to the base e dx okay now so that is the first thing log e log e log e understand then afterwards what we will do we will separate it log why because log a b log a plus log b here log e square x log a plus log b i will separate so this is equal to i is equal to integral of x into so this is a log e to the base e plus log x to the base e so this is a log e square to the base e plus log x to the base e so this is a log e cube to the base e plus log x to the base e dx okay so i have applied the formula log a into b log a plus log b that formula i applied next what we will do next what we will do so according to the problem you have to proceed that's all now step by step step by step here log e to the base e value is 1 here log e square so 2 will come forward so 2 log e to the base e this log e to the e is equal to 1 this is 2 this value become 3 so write down that so this is equal to integral of 1 upon x into 1 plus log x to the base e 
2 plus log x to the base e, 3 plus log x to the base e dx is 1 by 1, 1 by 1 varying. From this, uh, what shall we do? What shall we do? See here, log x to the base e, log x to the base e, log x to the base e, log x to the base e. What is the derivative of log x? This is 1 by x. Derivative of log x is equal to how much? 1 by x. Then, do, are you not getting the idea that we can substitute log x to the base e is equal to e t some t. So, that so this is equal to 1 by x dx is equal to dt. Understand? So, do that only. So, this implies integral of 1 by 1 by x dx, 1 by x is equal to dt. Now, this is your problem. So, this is a 1 plus t, this is 2 plus t, this is 3 plus t dt. So, this is your problem, ultimate problem. Okay? So, if you solve that answer, then you will be get the final answer. Rest, everybody can know that this is a partial fraction. Okay, now, you have to separate them into partial fraction. That is a by 1 plus t plus b by 2 plus t plus c by 3 plus t. Afterwards, get the values of a, b, c. So, here a value is 1 by 2 we will get, b value minus 1, c value 1. Okay, now. So, let us check that answer. Right? So, this is equal to integral of 1 by 2 into 1 plus t minus 1 by 2 plus t plus 1 by 3 plus t dt. So, you check it, you will get the same answer. Okay, now. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 log of 1 plus t minus log of 2 plus t plus log of 3 plus t. So, plus c. So, okay, in place of t, you will write down log x to the base c. Okay. So, that will be your final answer. Okay. Now, the thing is how to think in a logical way. The first thing whenever the problem is given, do not be tension or do not be uh, panic about the uh, problem. Do not think that it is a difficult. So, as many steps as you can write according to that you write. The first step what you have to write down is here log e to the base e x is there. Can we write it as a actually the what is the general format? It should be base e, base e, base as I wrote. Then what can I do? Log a into b, log a plus log b I separate it. This value is 1, this value is 2, this value is 3. 1, 2, 3. Clear. Log x derivative is 1 by x. Clearly it is appearing. That is why put log x to the base e is equal to t. Therefore, 1 by x dx is equal to t. From there, everybody can do. So, those who are preparing for seriously for JE mains examination, everybody can do from up to, from here onwards, everybody can do. I'm, I, so, <coughs> now today, now onwards, I do not want to explain the this uh, last two, one fourth of the problem. I will left to you as a homework. Okay? So, this from this you can do. The, the first part only I will explain. Okay. So, this type of uh, this up to this only I will explain. Okay, now. Right. I hope that you understand this solution. So, let us go for next solution. Dear students, welcome to this problem. So, the problem is integral of g of x dx is equal to g of x. That means, g of x integral is g of x only. Then, what is the value of integral of g of x into f of x plus f dash of x dx? If you have a command over the formula, anybody can, within a second you can say the answer is g of x into f of x plus c. Your answer is g of x into f of x plus c. Within seconds you can answer, uh, say the answer. Why? Because we have one formula. What is that formula? Integral of e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx is equal to e power x into f of x plus c. Okay, now, right. Here, f of x is there, f of x is there, f dash of x is, f dash of x is there. In place of g of x, e power x. Can I take it as? Yes, I can take. How? See here, e power x dx is equal to e power x, of course, plus c. See here, Integral of g of x is equal to dx is equal to g of x means what? It is a one and only one function that is e power x. Okay, now. So, then I then immediately have to get the idea that g of x is equal to e power x. So, if you substitute e power x here, so what will be your answer? e power x into f of x. Therefore, e power x is g of x. That is all. 
the answer is over. Okay, now, right. Okay, sir. I didn't get that idea, sir. I didn't get the idea, sir. How to proceed, sir? General procedure, how to do, sir? Yes, I will do. General procedure, how to do, right? So, <coughs> take that as a g of x, multiply inside g of x into f of x plus dx plus g of x into f dash of x dx. Okay, now, right? So, this you put it like that. So, now do this problem by parts formula. So, take first g of x as outside integral of f of x. Uh, otherwise, you first you take uh, f of x outside. f of x you take outside. f of x you take outside. So, it is a uh, g of x, <coughs> g of x dx minus integral of whatever may be the outside is there. You have to write it. It is a derivative that is f dash of x. Again, whatever may be the value, you have to write here. So, that is a integral of g of x dx whole dx plus this you write as it is g of x into f dash of x dx. Okay, now. So, anybody can say this. So, this is a f of x integral of g of x dx is equal to how much? It is given g of x minus integral of f dash of x into integral of g of x dx is equal to how much g of x dx plus integral of g of x into f dash of x dx obviously these two will get cancelled so f of x into g of x f of x into g of x okay now so generally why i am telling this type of problems uh, may be asked in je mains examination okay may be asked so here only the logic is there that's all you can directly guess the answer is g of x into f of x. If you did not get that general procedure also, it is there. Okay, now, right. I hope that is a very, very small problem. I hope that you understand this solution. So, let us go for next problem. Welcome back to this uh, problem. See, the problem is evaluate integral of e power x times 2 minus x square upon 1 minus x into root of 1 minus x square. See, remember here, whenever here 1 e power x a is uh, appears, immediately there is a very beautiful formula is there regarding e power x. That is immediately you have to remember that. What is that formula is e power, just now I wrote f of x plus f dash of x dx is equal to e power x f of x plus c. Okay? Whenever e power is there, one function plus its derivative is there, then we can avoid derivative e power x into f of x plus c. The proof is also very easy. Then we have to write. So, whatever may be this here, this function, that is a, that rational function, we have to express it as a one function plus its derivative. One function that is f of x plus its derivative that we have to write down. Then how to uh, do it? Let us convert this problem like this uh, here. Denominator, okay, put it like that. In the numerator, can I write it as a integral e power x into numerator? Can I write it as a 2 minus x square? No. So, this is 1 minus x square plus 1. So, this is a 1 minus x root of 1 minus x square. Can I write it as? Why? Because no problem. Why? Because 1 plus 1, 2. Now, you separate. You separate integral of e power x is equal to 1 minus x square by 1 minus x into root of 1 minus x square plus 1 by 1 minus x into root of 1 minus x square dx. Okay, right, nice. Here 1 minus x square, a square minus b square, a plus b into a minus b, 1 minus x into 1 plus x, 1 minus x, 1 minus x gets cancelled. So, e power x into 1 plus x by root of this 1 minus x square can I write it as a 1 plus x into 1 minus x plus this do not change anything 1 minus x into root of 1 minus x square dx. Okay, now right happy. See here 1 plus x root of 1 plus x I can write it as a root of 1 plus x in the numerator that is e power x is equal to root of 1 plus x by 1 minus x plus 1 upon 1 minus x by root of 1 minus x square dx. See here, clearly do not think that this is f of x, it is f dash of x. It may be f of x, 
this may be f dash of x we do not know understand this do not think that the first function is always f of x it is f dash of x but you have to do this now take this f of x you find its derivative you will get this understand so if you take it as a f of x this is your f dash of x now you have to do the rough work you have to do the rough work how to do the rough work uh, root of 1 plus x by 1 minus x u by v formula okay u by v formula you have to do so here root of v square means 1 minus x v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx by v square root of 1 minus x whole square 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 root will cancel 1 minus x you will get the easily you can get okay so your answer is what is your answer e power x into root of 1 plus x upon 1 minus x plus c e power x into root of 1 plus x by 1 minus x plus c then how to proceed this problem first to think how to get an idea that this problem should be solved in this method the first idea that should strike in our mind is whenever e power x is given you have to remember this formula that is the first thing that you have to get second one you have to change this function into two functions the single function into two functions such that one is the uh, main function and the second one is its derivative. So, if it is f of x that is f dash of x understand this that is a very nice ok. Then how to write down sir this 1 minus x square plus 1 how you will get that means it is obviously by practice if you do the number of problems you practice automatically the idea will strike to you ok now right. I hope that you understand this solution. So, let us go for next problem. Welcome to this problem here you see here integral of 1 minus x sin x by x into 1 minus x cube e power 3 cos x dx then how to proceed this problem. This is a one of the problem I have taken from Senge's textbook of course it is not a everywhere it is there but I have seen this problem from Senge's textbook then how to proceed. So, there are certain problems are there. Uh, which we, ca <coughs> we, we, we cannot get idea then how to proceed and how to do this. Then can we get anybody uh, what is the idea that we have to solve this. Right, see here 1 minus x sin x is there x into 1 minus x cube into e power 3 cos x is there. So, for example, if it is 3 is there, right? 3 is not there x into e power cos x, ok na. So, here I will take it as a x into e power cos x, call it as t, let us check what happens, x into e power cos x, let us take t, so up to here t, 1 minus t cube, put it like that. So, first to take it as t, let us see what happens. Now, differentiate, so for x into e power cos x, e power cos x, cos x derivative to minus sin x plus e power cos x into x derivative to 1 dx is equal to dt ok na nice. What can we take common outside e power cos x we can take common outside as e power cos x I have taken common outside here 1 minus x sin x very nice dx is equal to dt see here 1 minus x sin x dx. 1 minus x sin x dx is equal to dt very nice. But what about e power cos x? e power cos x in place of e power cos x can I write down this as a t by 1 minus x sin x by x into dx is equal to dt. Therefore, see here 1 minus x sin x by dx is equal to how much? 1 minus x sin x by x is equal to dx is equal to dt by t. So, very nice that means up to here and also here. So, 1 minus x sin x by x dx is equal to dt by t. So, that is the first idea. So, this is the first idea that you have to get. Uh, this is idea ok na. So, this is the idea first you have to get 
Okay, so if you get that idea, the problem is over, almost the problem is over. Then what you will do this, how to convert this problem? So this is equal to integral of, integral of, this is equal to dt by t, this is 1 by 1 minus t cube. That is dt by t, so this is a 1 minus t cube t. Okay, now, so first otherwise you write down t this side, t into 1 minus t cube. Then how to proceed this problem again? Then what you have to do is uh, take a t cube common outside. Let us check what happens. If I take t cube common outside, this is 1 by t to the power of 4. This is 1 by t cube minus 1 dt. Okay now, right. Again can I proceed like this? Put 1 by t cube is equal to some u. 1 by t cube is equal to some q. So, this is equal to how much? Minus 3 by t to the power of 4 dt is equal to dq. See here 1 by t to the power of 4 is there, here dt is there. Minus 3 take that side. Now, your problem is minus 3. So, that is minus 1 by 3, 1 by. This is equal to t q means u, u minus 1 du. Understand this? U, t q 1 by t q means u minus 1. This is 1 by t to the power of d t. 1 by t to the power of d 2 is equal to minus 1 by 3 d u. Okay now, right. The problem is over. The problem is over. So, this is equal to how much? Minus 1 by 3 log of u minus 1 plus c. This is equal to minus 1 by 3 log of u means, means how much? 1 by t q. t means how much? x e power x. So, ultimately u means 1 by t cube minus 1 plus c. This is minus 1 by 3 log of 1 minus t cube by t cube plus c where t is equal to x e cos x. Okay now. So, very nice problem this is. A. Otherwise, you can write down there only you can write it as no problem. No need to take LCM here. So, minus 1 by 3 log of 1 by x cube into e power 3 cos x minus 1 plus c you can write it okay now so very very nice problem the this type of problems definitely they will be asked in je mains examination the first idea that you have to get is see here this is x, x into e power x x into e power x is equal to t if you get that idea the solution is very very nice okay now right i hope that you understand this solution Welcome back to this problem. See here, <coughs> this problem is integral of e power tan inverse of x by 1 plus x square. So, times uh, secant inverse of root of 1 plus x square whole square plus cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square dx. So, it appears to be if anybody first see this problem, everybody will get afraid. What is this inverse? What is that cos inverse, secant inverse, e power tan x? Very, very easy problem this is. But you should uh, have command over the subject knowledge. Here inverse trigonometric function secant inverse of root of 1 plus x square is nothing but tan inverse of x, tan inverse of x that is. You have seen the formula. Seek, let us call it as secant inverse of root of 1 plus x square is equal to alpha, root of 1 plus x square is equal to secant alpha, 1 plus x square is equal to secant square alpha. So, in place of x, we can put tan alpha, 1 plus tan square alpha, therefore tan inverse of x. This is nothing but 2 tan inverse of x. Cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square is equal to 2 tan inverse of x. Now, your problem will become integral of e tan inverse of x by 1 plus x square into this is a tan inverse of x, tan inverse of x whole square it is there, whole square is there. This is 2 tan inverse of x dx is there. Okay. Now, afterwards the problem is very, very easy. Put, put tan inverse of x is equal to t. So, this is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square dx is equal to dt. 1 by 1 plus x square dx is equal to dt. So, this is equal to integral of e power tan inverse of x is equal to how much? e power t. This is equal to t square plus 2t dt. 
plus x square dx value is dt. So, by seeing this, are you getting a, any formula? Any formula are you getting? Yes. e power x into this is f of x, it is f dash of x. t square derivative 2t. Therefore, this is nothing but e power t into t square plus your original function. So, this is e power x, this is f of x, this is f dash of x, e power x into f of x, e power t into f of x, here f of x means t square. The problem is over, so this is equal to e power, t means how much tan inverse of x, into tan inverse of x whole square plus c. So, this will be your final answer. Understand this? So, very nice problem, very interesting problem this is. Uh, the only thing is if you have command over the formula of the inverse trigonometric function, this problem will be very, very easy. I hope that you have enjoyed today's class with some more problems. I will uh, come before you in the next class. Until then, all the best.